Good morning, everybody. So, this is my first blog, and um, it's just a start, and I'm in Sarapol right now. And I'm going to show you everything about Sarapol, the Murtin culture. Oh, it's beautiful here. And um, the food, the Russian culture, the Russian architecture, and everything about it. So, this is just a start, and there's going to be a lot more. So I'm going to show you some beautiful view from here and this is uh, the river Kama right there this is Kama this is the second uh, um, the second biggest river in Russia and it eventually merges with uh, uh, Volga not too far from here so it, it's a it's a very beautiful here and look at these locks here I'm going to show you the locks right there. These are the wet logs. It's a very beautiful place. It's very quiet here. And um, I just love it. Look at the cat there. And this is very nice. So um, I'm going to focus more on Russian culture, Russian language. Well, I don't speak Russian language very well, but I can try and um, I'm going to I'll show you about Russian food it's not spicy about local Murthian food and um, a lot of things trains of course yes I'm going to also talk about trains and many many things Russian local people and so on so well if you like it then please um, you can subscribe to my channel so let's continue our Excursion. So I'm going to change the camera view now. This is um, I'm in the bank of River Kama, and uh, it's very um, overcast today, and um, it's raining. It's it's drizzling right now. And uh, yes, the blog is going to be in English predominantly, but I can also switch to Russian or Hindi, but my Hindi is not very good. So is my Russian not very good. Right, so look at that. That's what's going on there. They're removing sand from the water. And um, this is like a small hillock. It's a, we are on the top of hillock. And this is... Um, all about Russia. Uh, uh, Это только если в самолетом лететь 40, да. а если вот так объезжаешь 90 получается. А, понятно. Угу. Волга, как, как далеко Волга реки? Волга впадает, Кама впадает в Волгу в, под Казанью. А. Получается километров 300 да. с небольшим. Ага. Только она петляет так. Вот. А. а так сейчас уже научно доказано, что вообще Волга впадает в Каму. А. Потому что уровень Камы выше, да. но теперь никто не будет называть по-другому эти реки. А. И так уже исторически сложилось, что Кама как будто впадает в Волгу. Если есть еще много реки в Удмуртии, Кама Чепца. и Чепца, да, на... Чепца Вала. Глазов. Вала есть да. в Можге. Да, Можге, да. В, да, большая река. Иж, река это Ижевск. Ижевск. Она, да, она, впадает да. она впадает в Каму. Она да. впадает в Каму. Под грызом. А. Недалеко от грызы она впадает в Каму. А тут вот такой вид красивый очень. Да, это очень красивая. Угу. Как очень Индия красивое. это. Да. да это... <laughs> тут природа. Да. В Индии очень жарко. Сейчас плюс 50. Наверное, да. Он сейчас дожди. Да, да, да. А так вот. Yeah. So, so I was talking in Russian, and um, so right there it's Tchaikovsky, which is in a Perm region. It's about 40 kilometers from here, but you can see that a little bit of uh, city skyline. 
Um, and uh, we have, uh, this is the uh, second longest river in Russia after Volga and there are many more rivers here. The other is Chepsta which is in Glazov and Asia River which is in Izhevsk. So this is Russia in summer. The temperature is about 25 right now and it's very overcast since morning. And, um, and Sarapol is uh, 60 kilometers from Izhevsk. And so So right here, it's a tree which is 200 years old, and it reads Okraniat Prigorodu Znacht Okraniat Rodinu. It means that I, I I don't know. Anyway, um, so this is uh, this tree is 200 years old, and it's very huge. Yeah, look at the canopy; it's big. All right. So. That's my car, the black one, and this, these are our pine trees, and um, so I'm going to go back to another place and see what I can find interesting for you guys. All right, so right now I'm in another location, which is not, it's not too far. Again, this is, uh, the river is Kama. And this building is Vodakachka. I'm not sure what exactly is Vodakachka, but what I think is that it is a place where it supplies water to the city. And here it is, Nasunaya Stanitsa. It's very old, it's 1910 year. And, uh, and this, is, uh, this is a small garden there. And this is River Kama. It's very overcast, it's raining, but I can still see some people boating there. And there is a boat coming from there, right there, right there. So this is a very quiet, not so many people. It's Sunday today, but as you see, you, not many people around here. So it's it's amazing. It's 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 drizzling and uh, it's great here. It's not cold, and some people are fishing there. If you can see right there, they're fishing, and there's a boat, and this is a beautiful building here. The Russian architecture, or rather Soviet architecture, and um, this building is, was constructed in 1910, more than 100 years ago. All right, so I can see a railway bridge which goes to Tchaikovsky and then it goes all the way to Siberia and towards Vladivostok and Ulaanbaatar and Mongolia and Beijing. So that's a Trans-Siberian uh, railway track. If you can see, I mean, let me try to zoom it. No, I can't zoom here. Okay. All right. So. This is a church right here, as you see. And um, let me tell you about Sarapol. It's a very small city with a population of about, I think, uh, 100 and 100,000 people or one lakh people. And um, but this is this this city is developing. It's a it's a culturally important city in Udmurtia. And um, I love coming here. There are many, many small cities in Udmurtia, Watkins, um, Glasgow is not small, but it's there. And um, Mozga, Sarapol, uh, Izhevsk is the capital of Udmurtia, of course. And again, let's see. This is the entrance of the church. And I'm not going to go inside right now but it's very beautiful there are Soviet or architecture the Orthodox Church
So this is my car. It's a Trion C4. And I'm gonna drive uh, to embankment now. I can't show you my number, sorry. It's a nice car, I like to drive. I like driving, I like driving here. And uh, the back of my car reads, yeah, blue into you, which means I love India. Also, I have uh, the 9th of May Victory Day sticker. And uh, let's go. So now I'm at uh, the embankment. Uh, uh, this is the embankment. I see people boating there and that big one, big ship right there. Big boat. I can show you a lot more in this. <laughs> it's right there, the big one. So this is again Kama and um, it's very quiet again today. It's embankment and it's Sunday, but I don't see many people around here. One of the reasons is because this is a small city and um, secondly is because the weather is not very good. It's uh, overcast and it's drizzling. So, um, let me just try to go near close to the ship there. And um, I hope I can give you guys a very good view from here, from there. So that's uh, Edmunis Trader right there, the white building. This is a small park, and um, well, so this is this is Russia. This is this is not Moscow, not Petersburg, but this is a small city of Serapol. I guess most of the people would um, relate Russia with Moscow and Saint Petersburg, but there is a lot more than that. If you, if you come inside, if you come in the interior of Rus Russia, near Siberia, the border of Europe and Asia has a lot more to offer here. It's very beautiful. Russian people are great. As uh, with the stereotype, the Russian people are very aggressive and um, they always drink vodka. It's not really true. Of course they drink vodka, but... It's not the way it is. So, Russia is a very, um, it's a very nice country. It's um, very great people here. People are good. Although a little bit quiet, they don't like to talk to strangers. Maybe a little bit gloomy, but they are, that's, that's just the way it is, Russian culture. And we just have to respect that. But overall, it's 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 a great place. It's a great country. It's a great people. So this is uh, the central city center of Serapol. So that's a boat there. So you see, hardly any people around here. And I like it. I like this way. I don't like crowds. In a, in an hour, I'm gonna go back to Jevsk. About it's a drive of 60 kilometers. And as I said before, I'm going to show you more about Russia, Russian culture, Russian people, Russian food, Russian markets and many more things. So please stay tuned and if you want you can subscribe to it to my channel. Alright so um, I'm gonna go back to my car and I'm gonna go to eat. I'm hungry it's already what's the time right now it's 11 30 i guess and i'm hungry so i'm gonna go to stolovaya or cafe canteen that's that's what they call in russia stolovaya for canteen it's very nice place to eat 
it's um, uh, it's cheaper than cafes and restaurants. They get good food there, a Russian typical Russian food. I'm going I'm going to try to show you that. So, oh, the fountain there. They've just turned on the fountain. <clears throat> Right, so I'm gonna go back to my car, find a Stalovaya, eat something, and then get ready to go back home. All right, so I'm in a I'm in a cafeteria right now, uh, in a bus stop, and this is a Russian delicacy: chai, black tea with sugar, and this is bolichka or sweet bun. So this is Russian food, Russian breakfast. They have a lot of thing in meat, but I don't eat meat. So I have to satisfy myself with bolochka and chai. That's all right for me. So this is uh, the bus stop, the sea bus stop. Uh, and these are the buses. It's the mini vans that go through Zhevsk and nearby cities and uh, these are the buses they go a little bit longer now this one's from uh, Serapol Kigbeyavo I don't know where it is and that's Serapol Ijevs Glazov there are so many buses here to Udmurtian and the neighboring states of Tatarstan and Baskaristan so this is a bus stop of Ijevsk hmm. I'm sorry not Ijevsk Serapol and now I'm going to go. I'm going to go home now. It's it's gonna rain, and uh, it's. Uh, I hope I'm gonna enjoy driving. Yeah. Right. So that was my first blog. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you have any comments or any feedback, please write to me, and I'll be very happy to address those. And uh, I'm uh, going to blog every sunday i'm going to upload a video every sunday of different cities so i started with Serapol today and probably next week i'll go to watkinsk but i'm not sure yet but it will happen i'm going to show you more about russian culture and if you like it please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel and uh, if you didn't like it please give me a feedback and i would love to improve on those so I hope you have a nice day. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later. Goodbye.